Hey, I'm Brian from IFA 2019 and this is my hands-on and first look at Fossil's new 5th gen lineup of smartwatches. Fossil already unveiled their own 5th gen smartwatch a few weeks ago, but now you also have a bunch of different styles from other partners that use the same underlying architecture. This is of course the Snapdragon Wear 3100 paired with 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage, and this should hopefully lead to much better performance than previous iterations of their smartwatches. There really was still a problem with performance sometimes, especially after rebooting the watch, where it took some minutes until it really got up to speed. I did still notice some stutters with the demo units I tried here, but I would really have to test this over long term to see if it's actually improved. The watches also feature a speaker, which means that you can now talk to Google Assistant and actually get a spoken response back, or you can take calls on the watch on both Android and iPhones with a new app that comes out end of this month. The watches also have new battery modes that disable some features in exchange for more battery life, up to one week if you disable most of the features. This is nice, but then again it would have been nicer to see just the normal battery life without disabling anything be improved. But this is all stuff you already know from the normal 5th gen Fossil smartwatch. That's the one that they unveiled a few weeks ago, and I do really like the design of the normal Fossil 5th gen. It does come with a bunch of straps and really looks pretty classy with its minimal and compact casing. But here at IFA they also unveiled a bunch of other styles of the 5th gen base smartwatch. In cooperation with Armani they unveiled a smartwatch that is closer in looks to the Fossil Sport, but does feature the new 5th gen underlying platform. You do have a painted aluminium casing that is available in a bunch of colors, and in my opinion looks really really stylish. But the silicone straps of this watch are a bit stiff, fortunately they can of course be changed out for anything else. If it weren't for the high 409 euro price tag, I think this would have been kind of a secret tip of Fossil's new lineup, because it does look very different and has the new 5th gen platform. For people that want something a little bit more industrial, they also unveiled a cooperation with Diesel in smartwatches that have a kind of brutalist look to them. They're definitely way too big for my small wrists, but I know that there's definitely an audience out there for these watches. I do think the, I do think the 3D watch faces look a bit tacky, but overall the design should look good on a lot of wrists. I'm definitely very excited to get one of these 5th gen smartwatches in my hands for review. As you know, I was very impressed with the 4th gen based Skagenfalster 2 I reviewed a little while back. And hopefully they also fixed the issue where the bottom casing would come off and the watch would thus no longer charge. Because while the watches are normally water resistant, the casing coming apart is of course kind of a hazard to that. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content from IFA 2019. Apart from that, you know which buttons to press and don't forget to press that follow button on Twitter. I'm Brian, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.